in the world of organized crime, Anthony Provenzano was a powerful figure. He was a member of the infamous Five Families of New York, a group of criminal organizations that dominated the city's criminal underworld. As someone who was well-connected and had a strong presence in the underworld, Provenzano was a formidable player in the game of organized crime. Here are the three times the crime families realized how powerful he was. Who was Anthony Provenzano? During the 1960s and 1970s, Anthony Provenzano was a notable gangster who rose to the position of head of the De Cavalcante criminal family in New Jersey. He was said to have ties to the Genovese and Gambino criminal organizations and was notorious for his violent temper and merciless nature. In 1981, a court found Provenzano guilty of labor racketeering as well as other illegal actions, and he was therefore sentenced to life in prison. In addition, he was suspected of involvement in the disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa, the head of the Teamsters Union in 1975. Disappear. However, he was never charged with any crime in connection with Hoffa's abduction. Provenzano died in jail in 1988. If you're curious about the arrest of Anthony Provenzano in 1975, then keep watching the video to find out more. This arrest has been shrouded in mystery for decades, and this video could provide the answers you've been looking for. So don't stop watching now! Becoming Capo Regime In the late 1940s, the head of the Genovese crime family, Vito Genovese, persuaded Anthony Provenzano to join the Genovese crime family. This was the beginning of Provenzano's career in the Genovese crime family. Provenzano was promoted to the position of Capo Regime in the early 1950s after achieving rapid advancement through the ranks. Provenzano was well regarded by his contemporaries due to the fact that he had a reputation for being dedicated and devoted to the Genovese crime family. He was notorious for his use of harsh tactics, which struck terror into the minds of anybody who dared to cross him. Although Provenzano was finally found guilty of murder in the late 1970s, his allegiance to the Genovese crime family lasted until the day he passed away, even after he had been convicted of the crime. Give the channel a sub by clicking the subscribe button if you like more of such videos. There is a lot on the track. There's more to come. come, on. come on. 3. Arrest in 1975 When Provenzano was jailed in 1975, the five families got the first glimpse at how strong he really was for themselves. During that period, Provenzano was being investigated for possible involvement in racketeering, extortion, and conspiracy. The criminal underground was taken aback by his capture which demonstrated to everyone that the government meant business when it came to combating organized crime. Evidence that Provenzano had been using his position in the union to extort money from companies, as well as intimidating witnesses and participating in other unlawful activities, had been accumulated by the FBI over the course of many years of investigation. In the end, he was found guilty and given a sentence of 10 years in jail, although he was finally freed in 1985. The arrest of Provenzano was a big win for the FBI, and it demonstrated that the agency was serious about going after mobsters and other personalities associated with organized crime. Are you interested in finding out more about the mysterious death of Anthony Provenzano in 1988? Then keep watching the video. We have an exclusive look into the investigation and the events that unfolded that fateful day. You won't want to miss what we have to share with you. So keep watching and stay tuned for more. Here, watch this video. 2. Murder Conviction when Provenzano was found guilty of murder in 1978, it was the second time that the five families took strong note of his power in the organization. Provenzano had been accused with the murder of an ex-associate, who according to reports, he'd got into a fight with before the murder. As a result, the world of organized crime took a significant hit since it demonstrated that Provenzano was not beyond solving his own issues via the use of violence. Anthony Provenzano was found guilty of the murder of a Teamsters Union leader in 1978 and sentenced to life in prison. The official's corpse had been discovered in New Jersey in 1975. Between the years of 1950 and 1970, Provenzano had a leadership position in the International Brotherhood of Teamsters IBT, at which time he was also suspected of having ties to the Mafia. He was arrested and sentenced to jail for a total of four years in 1964 after being found guilty of extortion. Witness testimony as well as circumstantial evidence led to his conviction for murder, and he was given a sentence of life in prison as a result of his crime. The parole request for Provenzano was repeatedly turned down, and he passed away in jail in 1988. Prison. 1. 
death in 1988. When Provenzano passed away in 1988, the five families were able to see just how strong he was. The criminal underworld was rocked to its core when Provenzano was found dead, despite the fact that he was serving a sentence of life in jail. Because of his death, one of the most influential people in the world of organized crime was taken out of the picture. He was attending a meeting of the Genovese family when he was discovered dead in a hotel room in Las Vegas, Nevada. The meeting was held by the Genovese family. Provenzano's history of illegal behavior was extensive, and he was notorious for the ruthlessness of his methods. In 1975, it was thought that he was implicated in the disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa, who was the head of the Teamsters Union. An accidental drug overdose was determined to be the cause of his death. Drugs. His demise signaled the conclusion of an era in the history of organized crime, as it brought an end to the dominance of the Genovese family in the criminal underground brought about by his departure. Have you ever wanted to know more about the mysterious disappearance of Jimmy Huffa? If so, you should check out this amazing video about the unbelievable facts surrounding it. From the strange clues and theories to the potential suspects, this video contains all the information you need to understand the mysterious disappearance of Jimmy Huffa. So, what are you waiting for? Click the video and get ready to learn.